Hello there. We're going to find some more sine, cosine, and tangent ratios, but the challenge with these is that the angles in question are bigger than 90 degrees. So there's no longer a right triangle that this angle fits inside of. Sokotoa falls flat. So I'm not going to be able to do Sokotoa for these, but if I remember Sokotoa, I can build the formal definitions. So just start by putting a right triangle inside the standard position, and remember that this is the opposite. Down here we have the adjacent, and here we have the hypotenuse. And now I need to look at these in terms of x and y. So here's that terminal point x, y, and notice that your opposite, this is going to be y, your adjacent is x, and your hypotenuse, um, generally we call this r, but that's actually equal to x squared plus y squared, and then the square root of all that little Pythagorean theorem. So this can help you build the formal definitions. Because remember, Sokotoa, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is to soka, adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent toa is the opposite over the adjacent. And I know what these are equal to in terms of x, y, and r. So if it's in the standard form like it is over here, opposite, that's the vertical height, that's y. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and opposite is y, over the hypotenuse is r, our radius. It's that uh, diagonal distance. Co so ka, ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is this horizontal distance, and that's along the x-axis of the hypotenuse is r. And toa, opposite, remember that's vertical, that's going to be y, over adjacent, horizontal, and that's x. So. I don't memorize this stuff, but I know how to build it from Sokotoa. So if I wind up in a problem like this over here, I can think Sokotoa, and then which one's y, which one's r. So in this one, I need to know this length here um, is part of a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So that uh, radius there, this is going to be a, a 5. I know that. That's what r is going to equal and I can figure out my sine ratio. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and the opposite, remember, is this vertical one, so this is going to be y over r, and my y value here is 4. So my sine is going to be 4 fifths. Now on to cosine. Ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent is this x1, and notice that my x1 in this is negative, so it's going to be negative 3 over the hypotenuse, that diagonal distance, 5. And on to tangent. Toa, opposite. Opposite, remember, is the y, so this is going to be 4 over negative 3, and please clean that up, so this is going to be tangent of negative 4 thirds. Negative sign rises to the top on those. Okay, doing something down here in quadrant 3. I need to know this diagonal distance here, so I can set up the distance formula. That is not quite the length. I need to take the square root of that, and I get 37. So that's what my r is here, 37. Huh, so, okay, so 12, 35, 37 is also a right triangle. So I could sketch that triangle in there, but please note, I want this large angle here, not just this little portion. I need this whole thing. And the coordinates here are going to help me get it. Sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is a vertical length y, so I refer to my vertical length here, negative 12. So sine is going to be negative 12 over the hypotenuse, 37. Cosine, so ka, ka is adjacent, adjacent is this horizontal one, x, so my x in this case, negative 35 over 37. Notice that both sine and cosine in this case are negative, because I'm down here in quadrant 3, on to tangent. Tangent is toa, opposite over adjacent, opposite is vertical. So it's going to be negative 12 
that's the y, over adjacent, that's the x, negative 35. And these negative signs can cancel out, and I'm just going to get 12 over 35. Uh, let's see here, 35 is 5 times 7, and 12 is 3 times 4, so that is reduced. Alright, and we got all of our trig ratios for that one too. So it's tremendously useful. Sokotoa is by far the way to do it, and if your angles are bigger than 90 degrees, just remind yourself of uh, what the formal definitions think uh, what's the y, what's the x, and then try to build these formal rules here so we can still meaningfully talk about trig ratios for angles that are bigger than 90 degrees. Alright, thanks for watching. Character and Scholarship for Life.